My name's Joe, and I'm gonna read Madeline's Christmas. Let's get started. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. There they are. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow and ice. And to the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Pooh, poo. I don't know why she said that, but that's what she said. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even the mouse. For like everyone else in that house, which was old, the poor mouse was in bed with a miserable cold. That looks pretty sad. And only our brave little Madeline was up and about in feeling, she's doing a lot of work, just fine. Suddenly came a knock, which made her pause. Could it perhaps be Santa Claus? But no, a rug merchant was at the door. He had 12 rugs, he had no more. Why these, said Madeline, would be so neat for our ice cold in the morning feet. So putting them down everywhere. It seems to me, said Miss Clavel, that you have chosen very well. Madeline gave him a handful of francs. Here they are with all of our thanks. Without the rugs, which he had sold, the rug merchant got awfully cold. To sell my rugs, he cried, was silly. Without them, I am very chilly. He wants to get them back, but will he? He made it back to Madeline's door. He couldn't take one footstep more. And little Madeline set about to find a way to thaw him out. A merchant who was tall and thin, and also a magician, bravely took his medicine. The magician, as he took his pill, said, ask me, Madeline, what you will. She said, I've cooked a dinner, nutritious. Will you please help me with these dishes? If you'll clear up, I'll go and see if I can find a Christmas tree. His magic ring, he gave a glance and went into a special trance. The dirty dishes washed themselves and jumped right back upon the shelves. That would be pretty neat to have magic dishwashing. Ability. And then he mumbled words profound, abra, cadabra, cadabra, dabra, dabra. dabra. That made the carpets leave the ground and 12 little girls were on their way. That looks like fun. To surprise their parents on Christmas day. Miss Clavel again quite well thought it time to ring her bell, which quickly broke the magic spell. Looks like they're all coming back. And now we're back, all 12 right here to wish our friends a happy new year. The end. Have a great day.